How to build a $500 gaming PC part three. Next, we're gonna install the RAM and the SSD. This is probably the easiest part of the entire PC building process. And for the RAM, we only went with 16 gigabytes because we gotta save money somewhere and we're only spending $500. You can literally pick any DDR4 set of RAM that you can find. You just wanna shoot for two things, 16 gigabytes and at least 3,200 megahertz, whatever the cheapest you can find like that is. To install the RAM, you're gonna use the RAM slots over here to the right of the CPU socket. If your motherboard that you bought has four RAM slots, you're gonna skip a slot, put a RAM stick, skip a slot, put a RAM stick. Then you're gonna pull the tabs back on the RAM slots. Some of them require you to pull two tabs back. Some of them are only one. You'll be able to easily tell by the way the motherboard is. Then make sure you line up the slot on the DDR4 RAM stick with the little slot that is on the motherboard and snap it into place. Just make sure it's in there good and snug and repeat the process for the second stick. For the SSD, we actually chose a 500 gigabyte SSD. Now, this is a SATA M.2, which means the speeds are going to be a little bit slower. You can tell by the notches here in the SSD, you could spend an extra like five to $10 and get a little bit faster and get an actual Gen 3 or Gen 4 NVMe, but we're trying to save every penny we can. If your SSD slot looks like this, you're gonna have one little bitty tiny screw and you're gonna take the SSD and put it in at a 45 degree angle, hold down the SSD and put the screw back into place. Once you've done this, you're ready to put the motherboard in the case, so follow for part four. 